So, <laughs> part of the packing has been done. As you can see, I've got all of my like uh, paintings like along the wall here taken off. You can see little squares. You can see the little squares where it's kind of like left marks where the things were. Um, and I also had uh, like lights along here on the wall, like along this part here. So it's really hard to like show, while well, I'm trying to do a different direction, it's like, what's going on? This part here of the wall, there used to be, I had lights and things. I just took some of the paint off there by accident when I was trying to like pull them off, which is kind of annoying. But um, it looks very strange having like this part as well, like completely empty. I, cause obviously I am, as you guys know, I'm a maximalist through and through. So to see like lots of things taken away and like things looking a bit empty, like I know most people like this, probably seems quite like full. This is so empty for what I'm used to. It's like, oh, how do people live like that? <laughs> yeah, packing's going well. It's kind of like, I've actually already done this as well. I've actually, I've actually been very productive. Emptied out my wardrobe. There's like a duvet cover up there and like all of my clothes has been taken out. It's all done. This is completely empty. My like old chest of drawers. I'm gonna throw that away and get a new one because it's kind of falling apart anyway. It was just like a cheap Ikea thing I bought a few years ago, but of course, with that kind of stuff, it doesn't really last very long. So it was like, I think it was like 20 pounds. So I'm getting ahead of it, everything. The thing is, cause like, I'm trying to get ahead of it all because I'm a bastard when it comes to procrastination. I'm so bad with procrastinating. I don't know why, I've always been like terrible at it. So I've just, oh, hello, she's dead girls. So I'm trying my hardest not to like leave it to the last minute. I've already got a few videos like already filmed of the setup the way that it should be. So there won't be many videos where everything kind of looks a bit rubbish. It will still, you know, I mean, this still will look rubbish. Like it's, I've still got things, but we kind of, um, yeah, I'm making sure that I kind of just get it done as we go. It's very strange though, knowing that it's like almost coming to an end. It's very very odd. So I move two weeks today. Um, so just to help me like, yeah, just to help my workload, I'm kind of doing it really early. Filming some, I'm going to film my sort of like goodbye video with Callum tomorrow when he comes home from his friend's house. Um, and that'll be like one of the last videos I put up before I actually leave. So yeah, it's, it's an odd one. I think I'm gonna probably have one more video filmed with this kind of background a little bit empty. So I would have two. And then what I'm gonna try to do is get like, when I move, the first thing I'm going to do is set up my new filming room. That'll be the first thing I do just so I can get it done. So uh, videos and work, because obviously this is my job. So I gotta make sure that it's like proper. So yes, it's really, it feels very strange now. This is, it's come, come really fast. Uh, I gotta repeat myself, so I'm probably gonna talk about that a lot more in the video, but uh, yeah, oh, God. My London life is almost coming to an end. I went and got Botox today as well. It's kind of fast acting, I love it. I also got um lemon bottle underneath my chin here, so I'm a little bit swollen here, but yes. So one last procedure before leaving London. <laughs> so I've reached an awkward moment in my uh, moving journey, and it's trying to work out how to drain the water from my bubble fish lights. I just tried to like put this cup inside. It's like sort of, you know, try to like, I guess, drain it out, but there's too much water. So I can't put that down there. So what I'm doing is I have this little tiny cup and I'm going to have to like do little bits at a time until it's low enough to use a bigger cup. God, the things they don't, uh, the things they don't warn you about when you buy bubble fish lamps. So I just picked up the keys. I've just got the place now. Um, I'm not obviously gonna do like a full, full house tour like properly yet, just because like there's nothing here. I'm gonna wait until, you know, actually things are here and everything's nice. Uh, but I will show you the little filming room because that is the thing that you will be seeing the most of. So let me just take that to the filming room, girls. It's very strange being in like <laughs> such a, <laughs> a house with stairs. I'm so used to being in like a flat apartment. I've lived in apartments for 10 years, so it feels very strange. But this is my little like filming room. So I need to find a way to, the door seems to close on its own. So I need to obviously put something down there. Stop from closing, but. This is the filming room. Let me just swap the camera on so you can see properly. So yeah, so this is my little filming room that I'm gonna be using for filming room. Um, it's almost about the same size as I had before. The shape is a little bit different, but because it's um, like, I don't have to have a bed in here. It's, it's you know, it's gonna save so much room. So obviously the TV's probably gonna go there and I'm gonna put like a sofa here. I think my desk is gonna go this side because there's a little bit more room here with like, cause I've got like a standing desk. Uh, is there's a little bit more room here. So I think I might have the desk here and stand here. I don't know exactly yet. Yes, there's a lot more space in here, but this is the room you'll see the most of. Oh God. 
feels very strange being in here. Very, very strange. It's just you kind of know, like, once I'm here, because I'm moving in, like, a week and, like, four days. Like, that's it with me and Callum. We're done. Very, very sad. It's very bittersweet, because I am really excited. Like, this is really exciting. And, you know, having a house is a bit strange. Obviously, I've, never, I, you know, I've lived in apartments for so long. So, yeah, it's going to be a very strange dynamic living in an actual house and not an apartment. And just like obviously moving out of London and living in Brighton, it's gonna be a bit of a difference. I'm definitely gonna have a bit of a shock, I think, with one or two things, but it's not too far from exciting life that it's gonna feel like being in a small town again. So yeah, but it's, yeah, it's a bit strange being in here. But it's, I'm so excited to like think about what I'm gonna do with this room. Cause I've got, I can do whatever I want now. I'm not having to be, I'm not restricted from like, you know, having to, Think, oh, I might have to call someone if I go put something in the walls. Like, I need to do what I want, which I'm really excited about. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. Anyway, I just ordered some food. I thought, you know, have my first meal in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so my first meal in this new place is Taco Bell, girls. Not sponsored, but yeah. God. <clears throat> so I'm going to eat this. I'm going to put some of those clothes in the little... Uh, I've got, I bought some clothes in me. I'm just going to put into like the sort of like wardrobe thing that's in the side of the um, stairs. And then make my way back to London and then get some things ready to go. To be honest, I need to get the internet sorted out and I need to get um, just like stupid things like making sure the names have been changed on like the gas and the electric and all that shit to make sure that like I'm registered here and God, council tax, all that fun things that the UK we have to pay but they don't f***ing fix the roads. Um, anyway, yeah. So here we go. Um, I'm just waiting for the lovely Jamie and Shaba to come pick me up. All of my boxes are ready to go. I'm hoping we can do it in one trip. I don't know if it's going to be able to. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff. I didn't realise how much stuff I actually had until I sort of boxed it up and put it all into one place. When it was spread around the flat, it was different. But now that it's all in one place, it feels like a lot. So fingers crossed we can do it all in one trip. Um, there's been a tiny hiccup this morning, but nothing too drastic. They should be here normal time as we planned, so all the plans should be going all right. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot. My stomach's a bit like <laughs> doing all like butterflies. Um, yeah, I didn't have any sleep at all last night either. That was fun. So I'm running on adrenaline and caffeine. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll check in with you once they're here, once we're on our way for the first like load. Oh gosh, yeah. Hopefully we can do it all in one day. I just want this to be over now. <laughs> it's so annoying. Anyway, yeah, I'll check in. Les Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good. I don't know what we're doing. We don't. We're doing. So the, I, this is. I'm just documenting like the last couple like hours, days in the house. Your room is like empty. It's so echoey. It's disgusting. Do you want to see? You want to see? There's nothing here. That's Callum's like little bags. He's yeah. well. This is a suitcase. His backpack here. Um, and that's all he's taking when he goes on his little, little adventure to his new life in Guam. In Guam. In Guam. Yeah. <laughs> he's, actually, he's actually going to China first, which is exciting. And then we're going to Japan. Going to have fun with the censorship in China. Oh, Gotta God, yeah. In order to be able to use social media. Oh, God, yeah. That, yeah, the blocks, they have that. And then you're going to Japan. Yes. And then when after that? I don't know yet. Oh! Mystery. Uh, he's coming to Brighton to come stay with me for eight weeks. Um... <laughs> He's moved back in saying hello. Um, I want to play Fortnite. Yeah, sorry. Callum wants to play Fortnite, but we've packed away all the PlayStation and the Xbox and everything, so we can't do it. So now I have to come to Brighton to play Fortnite. Yeah, I mean, he does have a Switch, but the Switch isn't a very good console. No shit. Well, actually, all shade. All tea. It's Nintendo, fine. up your fucking game. It's fine for playing Zelda or Animal Crossing or Mario, but like to play a game like Fortnite online, it's just not. No. I mean, you're going to have to get used to it. If you're going to be go away for a long time, we need to play together. You're going to have to just get used to it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Jamie and Charlotte on the way. Um, yeah, we had a little hiccup. But the, the van that originally was going to take... Oh, I'm just going to send a voice note. Oh, I'm going to listen to the voice note. Oh, oh, see you in a minute. Okay, so we are kind of, I would say, halfway done with all of the stuff. Hello, you're kind of silhouetted, but hello, Jamie and Sharp, we're here helping. They've been a wonderful help. Lo absolutely adore them. Um, and there is Callum over here as well, obviously, so yes. Uh, but there's not much done. You can see the house is practically empty. Um, my bedroom is also pretty much free as well. There's only a little bit left. All these boxes here are gone. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. I just ordered some food because I'm starving. But we, sh we, we, sh we should be able to do it in one go, which is very good. I was a bit nervous, but we think we, we, think we might make it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> almost time! Broken. 
we're all broken. I, I could have done something earlier, but I died. <laughs> well, it has taken us about five hours, I would say, to do it, but, oh gosh, we are completely ready to go. There's a tiny bit of stuff here we're just taking down. That's on the very, very last one. Um, but my bedroom is now empty. You can see it's really dark now. It's actually night time. <laughs> my bedroom's completely empty. You know, you're used to seeing this little side profile here. People didn't know, like, I got Wembley Stadium, like, right outside my window. Just had the stadium the entire time. In the evenings when it was, like, had the uh, lights on and things. They haven't put it on for a little while, but the stadium was always really pretty, actually, when it was lit up at night. You can't really, I guess, there's a reflect on the window, but... Um, you can't really see, but there's the stadium archways. Okay, they used to light them up at night time, but yeah, anyway, Callum's gone. He's gone to uh, an event and then he's leaving in a couple days. By the time you see this, he would have already gone. Um, but I mean, we were, it would have been a week. Uh, we would have been gone for a while. <laughs> it just taking me a little time to make these videos uploaded. But um, yes, so anyway, for one final time, say goodbye to this lovely Wembley apartment and get ready to go to Brighton with me. Oh my gosh, very excited. Um, yeah. <sighs> exhausted. Oh, so we're here. Oh, she's pissing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're just pissing in the living room here. Hello. Oh, the black screen of death. <laughs> so I was no, trying to decant uh, a bottle of Coke into her bottle. Um, so we are here. We've taken, I would say we've taken about half of it out now. Yeah. The van's just got a little bit left in and um, the car's empty, but we ordered some pizza and some chicken. Nah. These guys have been such a wonderful help. So although I'm shaking because I'm hungry, like earthquakes happening, um, I'm very, very, very generous and happy. Generous? I'm generous. They're very generous. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, you shout. Yes. Oh, eight, eight legs of children. This um, is actually our TV now. Yeah. Well, they, this is actually no. their house. They stole yeah. my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I'm very, very happy. Quite tired, but like, I think we, you know, honestly, we've done so well. Uh, unfortunately, one of the lifts were broken, broken in my other building, so it took us a bit longer to pack the van because we kept having to wait for the f***ing lift. We were chatting in the car and we thought, like, we must have spent at least an hour longer just waiting on the lift. Oh, just waiting on the lift, yeah. Yeah. How long did it take us to pack out? Like, maybe six or seven six hours? Six hours, about six, six, yeah, hours. six like and a half. 45 minutes, we've emptied the entire car. Yeah. And, like, over half of the Yeah, time. yeah. yeah. So I'm not filming you while you were saying that. The voice on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now we're going to eat food and then, I guess, carry on. <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day. Um, I just woke it up. I had about... God, I'm like utter shit. I apologize. I look so bad. <laughs> I had like, God, <laughs> like four hours of sleep. I didn't go to sleep. It was like three a.m. Um, yeah, it took us took us way, way, way past midnight to fully finish bringing everything in. Um, and then my brain went shut off, and then I got a bit upset, and then all of a sudden it was just like, blah, blah, but um, I'm here now. Yes, just woken up. I'm gonna go and have some food. I've got some Huel stuff downstairs, so I don't have to worry about trying to find where I put my breakfast stuff in my boxes and things, so... Yeah, that's good. Um, but gosh, yeah, i got my sister coming over today, and she's gonna help me kind of, like, try to make some organised decisions <laughs> in this place. Yeah, I don't know how much that I can film, because my sister can't really be on camera, but I'll try and do some stuff. But I'm gonna take on the little adventure of, like, the rooms and things, so... Yes, Jesus Christ. God, I'm so tired. I'm gonna need more energy drinks than maybe a nap in the middle of the day. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go downstairs, and I'm going to be very British and I need a cup of tea. I don't know where the kettle is and the tea bags, but I am gagging for a cup of tea. Oh, I'm dying for it. Um, I'm a bit more awake now. I am tired still, but it's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna go find that. Um, the living room is still an absolute shit hole, obviously. Uh, I did put the cushions on the sofa eventually. It dried enough um, to do it. Uh, but yeah, I need to, I don't know where my teapot is, my kettle, oh no, it's like, God, oh, literally the first thing I see, it's here, the first thing I see, oh God, but now where's the tea bags? where did I put the tea bags? oh Jesus, oh no, it's gonna be in that huge pile of shit, 
just want caffeine. So, sorry, my sister's down there like scrubbing one of the, hey bish, how you doing? <laughs> She's scrubbing one of the things for me. So we're kind of getting a good, I think we're actually getting a good like leeway forward of this, to be honest. Um, we have moved the sofa, we put the sofa in place. I've put my TV up and put it on a little stand of things that's on the side, it's all nicely and things are done. We've kind of emptied out a lot of the boxes that were here. This, they're kind of some of them have just been put out here, but we're, we're organizing it a bit now. Um, and yeah, the kitchen is starting to look a little bit more like a kitchen, which is good. Um, yeah, getting on, exhausting now, very tired. Um, my sister's been a great help. Jamie and Shava gave me a really nice present. It is a slush puppy machine. It's a real one as well. So that's gonna be a bit of fun. Nah, that would be a nice little TikTok on a reel making slush puppies. Do you like slush puppies, Hayley? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll have a, we'll make some slush puppies together. Um, but yeah, doing oh, everything's good. Just very tired. We're having lots of coffee. Um, yes. Oh, well, we'll carry on. Hi everyone. Just a little update. Um, we have been working quite hard. Oh, sorry, earthquake. We've been working quite hard on probably one of the the most important rooms of the house, and that is my studio. So I think we've kind of got like a good conclusion. Originally I was going to put the TV on this wall here, but it just kind of took up too much space and really limited how much I could do. So my sister suggested that maybe we put it like in here in this little nook. So then it kind of, the workspace is over here and the play space is over here and then it really like separates them out. Um, but also this part here, for the background is so much better than what we we're originally trying to do. We were gonna, we were trying to like angle it kind of from the front looking this way, but with my desk being standing in this, like being an archway, it just wasn't working. I couldn't, and I would have to sit down all of my videos. So we kind of just like flipped it. Um, so instead of filming from this direction, we're now filming from this direction. So yeah. I'm happy so far. I don't know if this is how we're all going to keep the lights. I mean, the lights normally go on like each corners, but because again, because it's like, it's like, like curved, curved. It's like, it's like angled. So like, if you look at the ceiling, it kind of goes up. There's a flat bit and then goes down. Um, it's kind of fun for putting like, we can put loads of string lights around and hexagon lights can look cool. So these can't fit completely in the corners, but it's fine. I don't know if I'll keep the lights like this at the moment, but we were just trying to get a, try to get a feel for how it would feel like filming here. Um, and I have a really nice sort of open window here and I didn't really want to cover it because really, we, we did try and put the desk down there as well, but it just wasn't working. So this part doesn't matter if we cover it a little bit because the window is really small. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, it does mean that there might be some light coming through here sometimes when I film, but as long as I close this and all the other lights, it should kind of like, I guess, blow it out. I don't know. Oh, she's been blowing herself, girls. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. It's very, very, very strange trying to like decorate and design like a brand new room. I've been so used to the room that I've done for so long that, oh God. It's because also, cause like the room is not square. I'm so used to like square rooms that now that I'm, you know, doing one that isn't a square room, it's like, oh, but it does, it does open for a lot of opportunities for fun. So God, it's gonna be a learning experience. Whether or not this stays as my main setup, I have no idea. I want to get like a nice chair to put on this wall, like put the side here. So when I play video games, it like, it's like perfectly set up. So it's like chair, games. Anyway, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm getting a bit tired, but I keep want to keep wanting to work because I have to get this room finished so I can actually film a video because I can't miss two videos in a row. So this is obviously very bright. You can see the colors changed. Um, So we, me and my sister, hello, bitch. Hey. Hi. We are actually um, just about to go out. We're going to a like a, tr a classic trance event in Brighton here. One of the reasons I wanted to get this place when we did, because I was like, we're going out on this day. And I was like, I need the house by then. Um, if I'm bleeding, about, I just cut my mold shaving. Now I can't bleed. Um, but we've done a wonderful job here in the house. Um, my sister has been a lot of help trying to like help me position things. I will... Hello. Hi. Do we look the same? When I used to have longer hair, we looked very similar. I think now that I'm bald, it's not as much. <laughs> I used to tuck my hair behind my ears and it was like, hello, I'm, I've transitioned. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'll show you a little clip here of like uh, everything, all the mood lighting, everything. Very, very happy. Um, today's been a lot less sort of like, I guess, stressful. It, I feel like it's been a bit of an easier day, would you say? Yeah, it's been less- Very productive. Very productive. I think because we haven't been having to move boxes around so much. Um, just unpacking. Just unpacking, yeah. So uh, yeah, we're going up tonight. Very, very happy with the progress we made. Tomorrow, I need to make sure I edit a video for Thursday. So that's on my like itinerary. I don't know how long I should keep this like, 
vlog going because like my thing was like moving to Brighton and I'll take her along the journey. I don't know when to like stop this one and go, okay, now it's another video. <laughs> like, do I do it when when parts of the house are finished, when the whole thing's finished? I don't know when to stop. Yeah, you guys bored yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when to stop. But um either way, we're having a good great time. Um and yeah, I think my next clip I might finish it on my next one and then do a follow-up later. Hi everyone, yes, hello. So I am a little bit hung, hung over girls. Um, I'm currently in my new little studio chaliers and I am doing some editing for Monday. Now this room is an absolute tip still. It's no way near gonna be finished. Uh, we did, yeah, we did kind of move things around a little bit. Um, so obviously, like I said, that my TV was gonna be on this wall here, but it's over here now and it's gonna, I'm gonna have a, like a chair on that side instead. Um, and I'm gonna, yeah, my, my little neon sign's gonna be here, got bubble, bubble fish lamps on either side of this, my consoles are gonna go in here, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be good. Um, I think for this video, I'm going to end it here, and, and then I'll do like a follow-up being like, this is what my house is like now, what, we you know, what, what everything is and all, what's all that say, uh, cause yeah, I don't really know when like the end point of this should be, and then before you know we're starting another one, um, so I think I'm gonna end up this one now, and then, yeah, the next video I'll do some more like updates and stuff, but I'm very, very happy, it is a really nice place that I am here, and, uh, yeah, if, I'm not gonna lie, I did feel a bit weird, like, sitting here and editing, in a completely different location. It feels a bit strange to have all my setup here, even though it's like the same, like... Illegal. That's illegal. Like it's all the same things and stuff, but it just feels a bit strange. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me with this journey. Um, and, you know, next time you see me, I won't be as hungover. But I did have a nice time with my sister yesterday. We went to a Dave Pierce like classic trance evening, which I was very, very happy about that. So it's very fun. We live the the two thousands. Um, but when this room does get finished, it is fully gonna look like neon insanity lights camera. Anyway, like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good fun stuff. Come follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and all that stuff. Links are down below. Thank you to my lovely Patreons as always. I will see you soon for another video and hopefully, um, yeah, some, some more fun updates coming soon.